Next couple days going to be beautiful to get outdoors with that comfortable weather moving back in. We still have a few showers that have been tracking. That's behind our cold front that's pushing to the east. Most of the heavier rain now along the coastal Carolinas, but we've got one little round of some showers that have been moving through right over Smith Mount Lake, dropping south along uh, the uh, areas between Henry County, Franklin County and Pennsylvania County. So just be aware Snow Creek, Callens, Chatham. You're going to see a few of these showers if these hold together likely just to the east of Martinsville as well. So just be aware that nothing severe out of these, but you are going to need the umbrellas and the wipers. If you run into that probably lasts in about a half an hour and then they'll move away. Clouds otherwise have been broken this afternoon, so we'll see some more sunshine in between those. A pretty sunset on the way as that drier air starts to slowly move back in. Skies will gradually clear out tonight and notice the temperature drop dropping quickly down into the 60s, a little closer to midnight, and then we just keep getting lower and lower from there. This is the month of change when it comes comes to weather. It is the start of meteorological autumn. September begins that at the beginning of the month. Average highs in the low 80s, lows in the low 60s, and that sunset around 747. Watch what happens by the end of the month. Almost a 10 degree drop in temperatures for both daytime highs as well as those overnight lows. Our average rainfall for the month coming in around four inches of rain. Of course, we have the equinox coming up on September the 22nd. So it is pretty common for us to get these temperature roller coasters over the course of September and even into October. Are we done with the 90s for the time being? Yes, we'll always have to watch kind of see if we can get another little hot stretch that moves in. But I think the worst of the summer heat is behind us now. We do have some cooler weather. Uh, it's not going to be this cool from now on, but certainly a refreshing change after the heat we've had. Lows drop into the 50s tonight. A comfortable start to your Tuesday. We'll get back into those mid 70s to upper 70s tomorrow afternoon. Looking ahead, the cool weather does last for about a week. We've got another reinforcing shot of some of that cooler weather that drops south as we head into uh, the weekend, but it may also pick up some rain, and that's something we're going to keep an eye on. We've got rain down here across the Gulf Coast states, a front that's coming in here from the west on Friday. If the two of these merge together or phase together, we could have significant rain. However, uh, some of the models suggesting that they will not merge together. and We'll get this cold front that comes through with with just some scattered showers. So bottom line, there's definitely some uncertainty when it comes to the rain forecast for us as we head into the weekend. Right now, at this point, we'll just keep a chance of showers in and monitor that for you as new data comes in each day. But we always want to give you that heads up uh, just so that you're not surprised if that forecast does change just a little bit. 70s all week long, mm. lows in the 50s and oh, 60s. Yeah. So some good looking weather. Some of you may even need that light jacket at the bus stop Ooh. in the cooler valley location. Yeah, that's uh, that's the the window cracking temperatures yeah, right there. So nice. Just let that fall like that. The beginning of the fall yeah. crisp, you know. Yes, I love it. Blow through the house. Let it get let the nice little breeze coming through from time to time. Like looking deep far, I know things can yeah. change. I mean, or, or you think we might be kind of in that seventies? So. It looks like seventies for about the next week and a half. Yeah. We'll warm back up to the eighties, but I just don't see any those huge heat waves. Nothing like that in September. Let's hope not, yeah. Brent. Thank you. After the break, survey.